Like I get really, really slow. If you went very, very fast. If I went very, very fast. I get really, really slow. Your time would, relative to mine. Oh, totally out of sight. Time's very important. What star sign are you? What? I, I don't know. <laughs> Who is that? Roger Penrose. Brilliant brain. He'd be a professor within three years. Sorry, could I? What? The thing is, just then, um, I was thinking about mathematics and not beer, and sometimes when I'm thinking in a number of different dimensions, I can't come back very quickly to words and beer and whether I want more of it. It's because of the pictures in my head. I don't know how to make the words come. Do you see? Pint or half? Yes, please. Overly romantic Wagner despised him. The feeling was mutual. What? Brahms despised Wagner. Well, you can't compare the two for, for one thing. Stephen. Yes? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm fine. Denmark's a prison. <laughs> then is the world one? A goodly one, in which there are many confines, wards and dungeons, Denmark being one of the worst. Well, we think not so, my lord. Well, then tis none to you, for there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. To me it is a prison. Why, then your ambition makes it one. Well, it is too narrow for your mind. Oh, God, I could be banded in a nutshell and count myself a king of infinite space, were it not that I have bad dreams. What are you thinking? I was uh, thinking about Einstein and relativity. Oh. And stars. Oh. It's possible for a perfect star to collapse into nothingness. If it's a perfect sphere, then it can collapse and become infinitely dense, so dense that everything is pulled down into nothing. But the conditions have to be right. What conditions? Yeah, if it is a perfect sphere, if the uh, place being very moving, if uh, the evening's very beautiful, the conditions have to be ideal. It's possible for the pull of gravity to stop everything escaping. Everything in nothing. Oh, no. It wasn't that bad, was it? Oh, my bag. I left it in the theatre. Ah. 
shall we? <laughs> oh, look, you can't see a star. Look, there, you see. Found it! Hamlet doesn't act. That's his fatal flaw. If he acted, if he did something... Sure short play. He'd save his life. Fred, I've been thinking about a subject for you. Faraday rotation theory. Marx principle. The formulations I've seen are not well defined. They're my formulations. The universe expands. As galaxies move apart, new galaxies are formed to fill the gaps left behind. The new replaces the old at just the right rate. Nothing changes. Wherever you are in the universe, Andromeda, Mars, or Scarborough, it always looks the same. Because it is the same. I want to do something significant. The universe is a steady state universe. It is very attractive, steady state. Cut. Thank you, gentlemen. And reassuring. Yes. Maybe it's attractive because it's reassuring. Emotionally, it's far harder to conceive of a universe that started, a universe that hasn't always been around. Einstein? Look what he did when his work looked like he was predicting there was a beginning to the universe. He ran away from the prospect of a beginning. No, because he saw that a beginning would mean a breakdown of all the laws of science. How can science explain something that isn't there? That's the thing about the idea of a Big Bang. The thing about the idea of a Big Bang is that it's wrong, irrational and wrong. It's my turn, Big Bang. I made it up. Do you know why I called it that? Because it sounds like a cartoon. Big Bang theory is cartoon physics. Dennis agrees with me, don't you, Dennis? Lunch. The Pope is a Big Bang man. Because? Because before the Big Bang, there was nothing. No space, no time, no matter. No science, no rules, which leaves room for, guess who? Lord God Almighty. <laughs> Religion is the enemy of science, young man. If Catholicism had its way, we'd all still be living on a flat earth at the centre of the universe with hell down below and heaven just somewhere to the left of the moon. <laughs> this is 1963. God is dead. Stay away from Big Bangs. Cartoons are bad for you. White dielectric material. I'm sorry? Lots of it. Inside the antenna horn. Had to be it. Had to be the cause of the hiss. White dielectric material. Yes. Pigeon shit. Oh. All over the horn. You know what we did? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What did you do? We posted them. The pigeons? We posted the pigeons. The people we worked for had uh, internal mail and offices all over America. We posted the pigeons as far away as we could send them. Did it work? They came home. They were homing pigeons. They weren't ready to leave. So what did you do? He, he, uh... We had the pigeons shot. No, Bob had the pigeons shot. You killed the pigeons. A technician. A technician killed the pigeons. And then we cleared out all the white dielectric material from inside the horn. On our hands and knees and our white lab coats, inside the horn, scraping away the white stuff. And? The pigeons were innocent. The hiss was still there. The pigeon shit was not the hiss. 
Is that all right? Can I say that on television? What am I doing wrong, Dennis? Dennis? Yep. Do you think I could have some more paper? Dennis has studied. You know what it is. It's Stephen. Are they going to like each other? You what? Another lunch of advanced theoretical physics. Hello. Hello. Tomatoes. Could you? Thin slices. Hello. Roger Penrose. Yes, I know. Have you two met? Prosciutto. Help yourselves. Mozart could go to sleep and wake up with whole symphonies in his head and no idea how they got there. Whole symphony in his head complete. How can that be? Music is temporal. How can you pack a whole symphony into just one moment? Well, maybe it's because music is a way of thinking that goes way beyond language. Maybe that's what genius is. Thinking without time. All roads lead to physics. Well, I think thought, um, mathematical thought, can exist completely without words. I don't think thinking is verbal. In fact, I think words come in the way. I think you can do without words. Poets have always been obsessed with time. Shrinking it, controlling it, stopping it. T.S. Eliot. Time present and time past are both perhaps present in time future, and time future contained in time past. Rupert Brooks stands the church clock still at ten to three. Blake, to see the world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower, hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Eli Merrick. Who? <clears throat> There was a young lady named Bright whose speed was faster than light. She set out one day in a relative way and returned on the previous night. <laughs> <laughs> it's unstable. Sorry? Go on. It's unstable. You need a negative energy field in order to create the new matter, which makes it unstable. Coil steady state. It's a problem, isn't it? Isn't it? You like hawking very much, don't you? Hmm. Will he have the time? What? Does he have enough time left to get what he's after? I hope so. Symmetric new theory of gravity. It's brilliant. Hoyle at his best. Did you start as his PhD student? Are you after my job? Did you? Are you? No. Yes, he's a great scientist. His work on the production of helium inside stars is, um, what's the word? Then? Beautiful. And so is this. I do the checking. It should be refereed by a committee, but Hoyle doesn't have time. Can I see? Okay, but don't what? eat it. Just leave it on my desk. <laughs> 